Hi, welcome to the shop, a place where I get to be creative and build all kinds of fun and interesting things, mainly the English traditional rocking horse. Now, if you've ever thought about making one yourself and you weren't sure of the process or the steps involved, well, stick around for that because I'm going to share with you all the tips and tricks that I've learned over 10, uh, 25 years of doing this, and I'm going to share them with you. I'm going to show you, you know, planing the wood to building the head, to carving that head, to carving the body, and we'll take it into the paint booth, put some paint on it, and I'll even show you a little bit of airbrush technique. So you're going to want to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the little red bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. I've gone ahead and I pulled some basswood down off the shelf. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Okay, so we're ready to go with our rocking horse this morning. And where I like to start, and it's personal preference, is I like to start on the body of the horse, the bottom body block to be exact. Now, the reason I start there is because I glue up enough material that I can cut out one or two bottom body blocks, and I can also figure in some head material so I can cut out my heads so that that's all ready to go when I get to that point. So I've got some material all set up on the bench over here. I've gone ahead and glued up. We'll take that out of the clamps. We'll bring it over here to the planer. We'll start getting our material planed and then we'll start building our bottom body blocks. <laughs>
So we're back from the planer. We've got our blank all planed down and we've got to cut the length. And I've gone ahead and I've marked my pattern on the top side and the underside of our body block. You probably noticed me writing on it. What I like to do is I mark the front and the back of my blank. And the reason I do that is I have these end pieces and the front side is cut at a five degree angle. The back side is cut at an eight degree angle. So when I'm at the bandsaw, I like to keep that oriented because of those degrees. Once in a while, I'll lose my train of thought and screw up and maybe cut that the other direction. And uh, this keeps my, uh, my blank oriented and uh, so that I can keep that all straight in my head. So we'll go ahead and we'll go over to the bandsaw. We'll get that all set up and we'll start cutting our blank out. And that finishes our bottom body blocks. You can see how nice of a straight cut you get when you put a three quarter inch resaw blade in the bandsaw. Does a great job. Next up, we'll go ahead and get our material ready. We'll start uh, getting our legs uh, laid out and we'll start getting those cut out. If you notice on my uh, patterns, you may not be able to see it right there. I've got arrows uh, running. That gives me my, direct, my uh, grain direction, where the grain needs to be running for these. Uh, so I always line up my arrow with the grain so that that gives us the best strength. Now I like to cut these out. Uh, these areas here with the back of the hoof. I like to cut those out on the bandsaw, or I'm sorry, on the uh, drill press. Uh, it's a lot easier when you go to cut on the bandsaw um, when you have a place uh, for the blade to fall into.
Now that we're back from the bandsaw and our legs are all cut out, we can go ahead and get those glued on to our bottom body block. Now to do this, I like to use two and a half inch screws with inch and a quarter fender washer. And once the glue's dried, I'll go ahead and remove the screw in the washer. I'm not concerned at all about the hole it leaves behind because we're gonna go ahead and glue muscle blocks over top of that so you'll never even see that hole. So we'll go ahead, we'll get some glue put down and we'll get our legs attached. Back over here at the bandsaw, I've gone ahead and I've taken out and replaced my three-quarter inch resaw uh, bandsaw blade with a three-eighths blade. So I've got a stack of these muscle blocks I have to get through, so we'll get started. Okay, back over here to the bench, and I'm ready to uh, glue my muscle blocks that I cut all out. Ready to glue those onto the lower half of our body. Um, pretty straightforward. I like to use these spring clamps when I'm putting the muscle blocks on. Um, a little bit of glue, put them on, set it aside, and let it dry.
Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've got all of my muscle blocks glued onto the lower half uh, body of my horse. So that's all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside to dry overnight. Tomorrow, when I get in here, um, we'll start gluing up and building the middle section of this horse, which is basically a box. Um, a lot of people think that these horses are all solid and they're not. There's a hollow cavity on the inside. So I'll show you all about that um, once we get to that part. But uh, yeah, I'm real happy with uh, what we got done today. And uh, tomorrow's another day, so we'll get after it. Okay, it's the next day here at the shop and uh, we've got our uh, muscle blocks all glued on the lower half of our horse. Uh, so we can take the clamps off of there and we've got the legs on our second horse. Those are all dried and we can take the clamps off there too. I've gone ahead this morning and I pulled down some stock uh, basswood off the shelf. This appears to be 10 quarter stock. This is for the middle of our horses. So we'll build boxes um, out of this stuff and I'll show you how that's all done. So we'll get after it. Here we go. got all of my material playing down. Um, this is basswood once again. The plans call for your material on a large horse to be four and three quarter inches wide by two and three quarter inches thick. I always go heavy on my uh, middle body blocks and I'll explain why as we move along in the process. Um, 
I just love standing at the planer and planing wood. It's fun to see a dirty old grimy piece of wood go through the machine and come out just beautiful. I've had some, pe some pieces here, uh, maybe not these three, but are just really not free. You wouldn't have known it until it went through the planer. So just love that. So we've got three of these to make. The, the length of our horse, our large horse, is 27 and a half inches long. So we're going to go ahead and cut this material 27 and a half inches. And uh, we'll start getting everything glued up. I'd say that's a pretty good place to stop right now. I'm real happy with the progress we've been able to make over the last few days. When we come back, we'll go ahead and get our middle body blocks out of their clamps, and then we'll start fitting those to the base of our rocking horses. Then we'll start gluing up material for the head, the neck, and the neck muscles, and we'll get those prepped and ready to go. We're gonna get everything glued up before we start carving. And then once we get to that point, that's when the fun begins. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. We'll see you here at the shop next week.